you decided to shop for the engagement ring together. Very modern way and very smart way. You bring the vision, he brings the commitment. But how to actually do that and uh, how to communicate with each other, how to choose the right style, how to choose the right gemstones and metals, and at the same time, how to keep the element of the surprise, how to keep it beautiful and romantic. In this video, we're gonna be talking exactly about this. And let's start from the first part. Let's start from the communication process. First thing first, communication is the key. Many psychologists would tell you that the engagement brain is not exception. What you want to do, you want to very clearly communicate with each other uh, about the styles, about the preference, about the budgets as well, what you're willing to spend, keeping in mind what is ahead of you as the family as well. And while you're talking about the engagement brain, you will quickly figure out that on the one side you want to get exactly what you want, but at the same time Time, you might want to keep the element of the surprise in this process. And in my mind, you can go with the three most common scenarios over here. The first scenario is the equal involvement. You equally involved in everything, in choosing the right style for your engagement brain. So she might have certain vision, you might have certain vision. You're both talking about it and you're both trying to combine. You're both talking about the budget because he might have certain expectation for that, she might have another expectation for that. Again, you're meeting somewhere in the middle. So at the end of the day, this engagement ring would be a representation of both of your tastes. Everything is done together over here. And from the relationship point of view, I think it's actually a very cool project to do it together, that you will find out a lot of interest and in things in, about each other in the process. I think it's a very cool scenario overall. Another scenario I would call guided decision. What do I mean by that? The person who is actually about to wear the engagement ring, choosing the style, choosing all of the visual aspects of this engagement ring, and the other one taking care of the technical uh, aspects. And it's actually important because let's say you want the blue stone of some sort, but then the other person going and doing the research, whether the stone is actually durable enough, is it going to reflect the sparks good enough? What about the metals? Are they durable enough for this specific task, for this specific design of the engagement ring? What about the prongs? Are they going to secure everything right? Because again, we explain in our YouTube channel how to choose them correctly. Uh, same goes for the payment. What is the best way to pay for this engagement ring? And first of all, where to buy it? How about certification and all other technical things? But the person who is wearing it in charge of the style overall, because at the end of the day, she is the one who is going to be wearing it. And the third scenario, and is actually a very common scenario, is to keep the surprise element. Again, what is going on in this specific scenario? Someone who is going to wear the engagement ring, uh, they would tell you everything that they want in general. So very broad idea of the engagement ring or the center stone and things like that. And details of it is not discussed. Sometimes you, you're gonna have a couple of options for the gemstone even. For example, uh, persons who is going to wear the engagement ring, they would tell you like, look, I'm fine with the diamond. And of course, it's a great choice. I'm fine with the sapphires and the blue sapphires. I'm, I, and I'm fine with the green emerald. I mean, it's kind of a extreme case usually people choosing in one uh, color spectrum just with the different tones but still might be an option so it's up to you go and pick the final design same for the design itself actually they might tell you oh i'm fine with the uh, yellow gold classic yellow gold i'm fine with the lemon gold i'm fine with the uh, rose gold go and pick the one that you want but at the same time no one limits you to add the very special element into this and in this case you're going to avoid picking the engagement ring that is completely out of her style, but at the same time, the element of the surprise 
will be there. And at the same time, I want to mention that if you want to go and pick the engagement ring by yourself, you want to pick every single detail in this specific ring. And we embrace the pickiness on this channel. And he's going to be just paying for this engagement ring. Then this specific video is not exactly for you. I have another video that I'm going to link over here. And we're talking about this specific scenario over there. After you figure out the scenario, how you're going to go with uh, your project, what you want to do, you want to explore the styles and trends. It is very important to pick the right style for yourself, the one that would align with your current style. Where are you going? How do you like to spend your time? What are you actually wearing? And things like that. And the reason why it's important is very simple. Engagement ring is not something that you you're going to wear occasionally. You're going to be wearing it on a daily basis, hopefully for your entire life. So you just need to figure out your lifestyle and style in general, and that would perfectly show you what style you should pick as an engagement ring. You're going to see the different engagement rings on the people's fingers. For example, if you go into the fancy restaurant, that's just one style of the engagement ring. And if you really like like hiking with the backpacks and everything, it's a completely different ring too. So you really want to think about this part. The third step is to do your research on gemstones and metals. That is extremely important because at the very beginning, you're going to choose probably the color of your gemstone or maybe you will be thinking like wow i like this diamond thing and i want to go with it but wait until you make a final decision because there is plenty of choices out there besides the diamonds there is again sapphires of any color out there there is morganites uh, aquamarines emeralds and so forth and so on there is less durable option that might fit for the certain lifestyles as in opals and other uh, gems at the same time there is a plenty of lap stones there is a uh, lap sapphires there is a moissanite same goes to the metals you want to explore all of your possible options of course at the very beginning you'll see that there is a white gold, yellow gold, and the platinum. But there is also lemon gold, uh, there is also rose gold, and a few other tones. You can also mix alloys and you can have one of the portion of your engagement ring made out of white gold and another of yellow or rose and so forth and so on and there's also different finishing as well it can be meat finishing it can be hammer finished it can be glossy finish so you want to explore all of those options out there even if you will come back to the glossy yellow gold let's say you still want to make sure that you saw other options as well after we talked about all the basic things we want to talk about customization my favorite part because as i'm always saying it's not about the cost of the engagement ring. It's all about the value. And then more your personal touches you're going to bring into the engagement ring, then more valuable it's going to be. And there is a plenty of option when you want to customize your engagement ring. You can start with the basic things as the engravings and things like that. You can use the birthstones uh, or the stones that is specifically related to that specific person. Or uh, for example, you can put a certain amount of small stones that represent how many years you've been together for example there's many many options out there and we always guide our clients on possibilities and at the same time after you've learned about all of the customization options what you can do you can just go back and be like hey i've learned all of everything about the styles i thought i want this specific engagement ring to be customized but now I'm thinking to create something that is, does not exist and never existed before. So I just want to go and do that. And that is a beautiful option and that's what we specialized on over here. The fifth part is the practical tips, very practical things that you want to make sure you follow. First of all, no matter what kind of gemstone you buy or no matter what kind of metal are you using, you want to have the certification and write paperwork on your engagement ring. 
Next, I want to give you some very simple practical tips that's going to save you lots of times and money. First of all, you want to work with the right seller out there. Try to avoid the very big chain store that is providing you with a huge discount or anything like that, or with the prices that is too good to be true. There is many reasons for that. First of all, you can just get a very poorly made engagement ring and after it's going to break, you're going to have a hard time fixing it. Uh, you're not going to get the good deal, actually, because you will quickly realize that it's just a not good stone or not the good settings and things like that. Later, you would want to buy the wedding band as well. And after that, you would want to buy another wedding band. And what you want to do, you want to find the right jeweler that you can keep for the future projects as well. So start at the very beginning with a nice jeweler who is passionate about what they actually do. The second thing is the certification and the pay for work. Extremely important. First of all, it tells you on paper that you buy exactly what they say you buying it's a crucial things with any type of gemstones with the diamonds with the sapphires with anything so try to avoid this very good deal on diamonds or sapphires that is sold without certification second thing is you're going to have a very hard time ensuring this ring because certification only can be done uh, with the loose stone when the stone is set, no one gonna give you the certificate for this specific stone. You might have a problem with appraisal as a result of that. And if there is no appraisal, it's gonna be hard to do uh, the insurance for this engagement ring. And that is important part. And if you're going to have any other questions, I will be happy to answer. And we always guiding our clients uh, through the entire process because there is lots and lots of details that I cannot really cover uh, all of them right over here, but I will be happy to discuss them with you one-to-one. -one. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.